Hey friends, welcome back to another video. So today, uh, we're going to be doing a few things. Uh, the most important thing is we're going to be installing a Recaro fixed back seat into the car. Uh, we're going to just debadge the rear and we're going to fix up the headlight. So I'm going to leave the Honda badge, but I want to take off the Accord Euro bit. Uh, obviously, this seat is going to change. Which will make a very, very race car. And then you can see this headlight looks pretty good. And this one is all yellowed. I mean, there's condensation in it, but it's also yellowed. So I'm going to sand that back and see if we can bring that up a bit. So a couple of little cosmetic things and the seat today. And uh, should make a big difference to the car overall. So the first thing we've got to do is unbolt the stock seat, obviously. Uh, all stock seats are pretty much the same. You've got two bolts at the front, down there, and then two at the back. Uh, it's an electric seat, so I'm going to leave it plugged in for now. So we can move the seat all the way back to get access to the front bolts, and then move it all the way forward to get access to the back ones. So, just undo those, and that'll take the seat out. Okay, so now the seat is loose. You can see I can just move it around with my hand. And now I just need to unplug it because obviously it's got all the plugs for your electrics and that sort of thing. And that's under there. So I'm going to have to put the camera down for this and try and sort this one out. so heavy. Oh, fuck. Okay, so the seat is out. It weighs a fucking lot. It's so heavy. <laughs> um, and now there's all the gunk and dirt and stuff under here, so I'm going to give it a quick vacuum, uh, and then we can have a take a look at our um, at our seat rails and, and start looking at fitting it all back together. All right, so this is the stock seat, and this is the Recaro SPG that's going in. With this seat, I can just pick it up, throw it around, no worries. This seat, even with two hands, it's like... Fuck! <laughs> yeah. So heavy. So, we're definitely saving some weight there. Uh, and these are the seat rails I've bought. So, I want to do a shout out to KC from JDM Tours, because he, he always helps me out finding weird, like finding weird parts and bringing them in from Japan. Um, so, I'm pretty sure he lives in Japan. He gets everything shipped to him, and then he'll ship it out to you wherever you are in the world. So if you need something like that, use JDM Tours. And what I've got here are Duran Racing. I've never heard of them before, but they're for a Cord CL7, CL9, and apparently they sit really low, like super low. So is this why you went with Duran Racing, mate? I did. Because of the lowness? Because of the low life. There you go, mate. Because I'm tall AF. So as you can see, it literally is just two separate rails, uh, and so you have to hold them together at yeah. the same time to move the seat, and that's why it's going to sit so low, because it's literally just going to be that, and then the seat's going to be in the middle. It's good they're adjustable, man. Yeah, and then we've got the um, brackets here that bolt into the side of the seat. Mm-hmm. And with bolts? With bolts. Multiple height adjusters. So that's an adjustable yet individual version and this is, of uh, my dog's one. This is for the seatbelt. Oh yeah, okay. So that'll go on the side somewhere, I guess, once we figure it out. Well, let's go have a look and see how it'll go. Alright, so that'll be that side there. Mm -hmm. And that'll be that side. Fuck, that is gonna be the floor. <laughs> it seems to literally be there. Yeah. That's sick. Alright. So, 
Now you just basically have to bolt the brackets on and figure out the positioning you want. Or do we have to bolt these in first? Because we won't be able to just drop it all. Or do we... No, you bolt the seat to it. So bolt the seat to the brackets and then this to the brackets and then drop it all in in one go. Yep. Alright. Let's do it that way. I do have a plug at home actually, I forgot. It's a Recaro airbag delete mm. kit. Um, I just forgot to bring it over, so I'll just plug it in. Yeah, you'll be able to do that. Yeah. Doesn't really matter because I already got the airbag light from the steering wheel because we need to boss mm. it with the airbag delete. It's true. So, it's all irrelevant. Safety first, kids. Get rid of all your airbags. Um, Alright, well. Let's hoe to it. Let's put it together. Hoe bag. Alright. We've got two types of brackets. We've got ones with sort of a um, bit of room to move. And then we've got ones with just the circles. The ones with just the circles are for the rear. And these are for the front. And this is for the seatbelt, which will go on top like that. So, just having a think. So this will go on there like this. The seatbelt will go on top. And that'll bolt in like that. Common Welcome. sense has <laughs> prevailed. Uh, and we've decided just to slide the seat rail back so you can actually get access underneath. It's uh, actually two weeks later. Yeah. It's been two weeks. It's been two weeks of us sitting here. We haven't been able to move. Brian hasn't fed me. I'm hungry AF. Mmm. Oh, there. Yeah. Now there's no seat and poor dogs. Rip dogs. And dogs and rip dogs have been having for a while now. We just do hand type for now, I guess. Mm hmm. Good stuff for later. end up with a seat rail in my abdomen. That's a pretty poor death when you think about it. Look at them there birdies. I would zoom but it takes far too long so I'm probably not going to blow. That was nice though. The rainbow lorikeets. You guys can just google what they look like. I know. We get, we got there. That's like the most Australian thing ever. Rainbow lorikeets and a water wolf? Yeah. Is that a no, 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 a thing. Whatever that piece called. Alright. Okay, seat. Bolt so them to the side. It's gonna go like this. Yep. So now, put it on its side. Yep. Ah, uh, look what you made me do. What you want though is the back to be low and the front to be not. Oh, you've got no thigh support. Does that make sense? Maybe I'll try it even like that, because see that's actually yeah. going up, like upward that's rake. That's what you want. Or is that one? You do want upward rake. Upward. Upward rake. I don't think that's even going to be enough. Especially because you're tall. We'll just try it. Because we can adjust that in the car. Yeah, can almost. you put this even lower? Yeah, I can put it there. Yeah, but that's not, that's raising the rear. Yeah, try that, just try that. I'm going to say try that. Alright. If it's really bad, you can blame me for the extra 10 minutes. I'm not doing it super tight, so I just want to get it in the car and see how it fits first. Yep. Um, I might move the slider back because it's all the way forward at the moment. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, give that a go, mate. It's going to be hard for you to do that on me. Yeah. Never mind. Even with the rails, this is still so much lighter. Yeah. Alright, so the seat's in there loosely now, so we're just gonna check and see our positioning. Oh, holy shit, this is so low. Yeah. Like, Try sliding to your seating position now, on the left, mate. What do you think about the up and downy part? 
Do you reckon your per do you reckon that recline is sort of good? That's kind of how you want it in it. I, this is actually really comfortable. Holy shit, this is so low compared to where I was before. My head, like I, no joke, before was sitting here. Mm. So, from here, what's that gap there? A large amount. Whatever that is, is literally... The drop. Let's come around here and sit in a normal seat. Next to Brian Ham. Hey dude. And like, like Brian's much taller than me and I'm above him. So. <laughs> and you know before, okay here's another way we know it's low. Before the sit steering wheel when we had it on the bottom level, you couldn't see the speedo at all right? Like anything above 80, the steering wheel block, but now you can see the whole dash at, at the lowest level. Scientific. Yeah. So, yeah, but what you do need to get right, because it's more annoying to constantly change, is your tilt. Do we like this tilt? I think it's pretty good. Yeah. Like, I don't think I'd want to be more forward or back. No. Like, I if you're more forward, it's going to be fucked driving every day. Yeah. And more back would be like... Yeah. And you kind of... I think that's kind of a good position if you can, like, be like this. Yeah. Like, especially when you... Yeah. The only thing that annoys me now is this bloody glove box. Because now when I go to shift, it's like right there. It's okay, we can remove this. Yeah, literally, just take out the whole center console. Yeah, you don't need center console. <laughs> Decided. Yeah, this is mad, dude. Okay. You, you want to try it? Yeah, I'm missing it. Oh, fuck. That's actually really terrifyingly low. It's so good, right? Holy shit, almost too low. <laughs> like, okay, hang on, close the door for a sec. Like, you're a tall dude, and you're barely over the top of the door. Like, you're, your chin's like in line with the door now. Holy fuck, dude. That's low. It's so good. Yeah, that, I understand how the armrest. Yeah. Alright. It's no longer convenient. Yeah. <laughs> the seat's too low. Yeah, next level. All right, let's um, tighten it up and, and bolt it in for good. Let's do it. In plug, right, and that con controls everything. So Brian's got to take the belt off, but obviously the loom with it, which goes all the way in to this con complete disaster of an underseat. Um, because literally we're gonna have to take this off, take all the other ones off, and leave it all hanging there just so we can plug this in. You're gonna need to though, to keep beeping. Yeah. You go mental. Okay, so we got all the wiring off that seat. I'll show you that in the car in a sec. Um, got the seatbelt bracket on now. You can see it's got a little bit of movement, but not too much. Uh, and then that's where it's going to plug in so the car doesn't keep freaking out that the seatbelt's not plugged in. So now we can put it in a fish. A fish? So this is all the wiring off the stock seat that we've had to maintain. Just the seatbelt, and I'll plug in my airbag delete later. Um, don't know how we're gonna. I guess it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter, no. So I'll just leave that cable time. So out. I'll have to lift the seat while you plug that in, or. Yeah, hang on. Beam through. Leave that there. Alright, that's plugged in. Okay, so the seat's fully bolted in now. It looks good. Fits good. Very nice. So now, we're gonna go for a drive and test it out. It's, um, it is so low, like I... I don't know if it is too low. Hard to say. Right <laughs> it's so far from the sunroof, it's funny as. I feel like. I literally feel like Renell right now. Is what, is what his life would be. Also, to the viewers at home, in the last video when we installed the coilovers, I noticed that knocking sound in the rear. So it's a suspected gas leak in the shock. So we. Um, 
MCA is actually kindly sending out a replacement. Uh, so that'll come next week and I'll just chuck that in and that'll sort that out. This is so fun. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Literally feels like a go-kart. Yeah. It's so crazy how different a seat makes everything. Woo! Woo! <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> oh, it's a scrub. Heard something. <laughs> Dude, this is so good. <laughs> it literally, you can feel like, obviously the spring rates are quite high, and it literally feels like I'm on the ground. You can feel everything, but it's such a nice feeling. Yeah. To feel like you're fully connected. Christ. Like, that for you probably felt like a lot was going on, right? Yep. But for me, I'm just like, yep, I'm chilling. holding on here, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna have a fun time co piloting co-piloting at Jesus, that's going to be terrifying. <laughs> You're going to just slide around everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> no, this feels so good. I love it. The major problem with this car beforehand was the fact that these seats are really slippery Holy leather. Fuck. This is so fun. <laughs> alright, alright. I'm pulling nah. over. You have to try it. Right. It is so good. Now you just need your exhaust, mate, and your intake, and then you got to... I've got full JDM custom exhaust already. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, old man. It's coming down real slow. <laughs> Should I just rip a skid for him? Yeah. Make a VTEC up his street? Clicks. No, I'm a respectable community member. Alright, let's pull over and you can have a go. Alright. Down. I feel so high in the passenger seat because you're the tallest one. I'm the shortest one, and I'm now the lowest one as well. How fun! Oh, fuck all this. Ah, oh, I don't know, man. It's so low. Like I'm actually having to go like this. <laughs> Once you start driving, it's the best. Oh yeah. <laughs> It feels so good. Yeah. I literally have to make good use of this handle. I'm holding on for dear life. Mang bro, mang. <laughs> Is now the oh, best. Fuck, I'm used to the fucking Meg. <laughs> <laughs> go Meg, go. Hey friend. This car has quickly become the most fun car I've owned. Wow. Like, I still like the SCI better, but this is, I don't know, this feels like a go-kart. Yeah, it does. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm having fun now. It's really, and now I understand how everyone's like, oh, cause the handle fucking really well. Yeah, I never understood. I was like, how does, like, because you drive these stock, you're like, this is a big, heavy car. Yeah. But now I understand. This thing actually handles so nice. Yeah. He's ready to be thrashed for the rest of his life. This thing? Yeah. All right, guys, so that'll do it for this video. I'm so happy with this seat. It's made the car so much more fun, and it's sort of really brought life to the coilovers, too. I'm so happy with it. The seating position is like ridiculous. It's so nice. Um, the steering wheel, the shifter, like everything you sit and feel now when you're driving just feels awesome. Way, way better. Um, I was gonna do like the D badge and fixing up the headlight, but I don't have time today, so I'll just do that some other time. But um, thanks you guys for watching. Uh, shout out again to JDM Tours for hooking me up. Um, make sure you guys check them out if you need any weird parts from Japan. And uh, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, have a good week. I oh, know I'm trying new outros here. This is pretty fucking shit. But anyway, see you guys. Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. She was looking kind of dumb with her finger and her thumb in the shape of an L.